I'm one of the few who didn't get into a boarding school system until I was 16. I grew up with a lot of the older people listening to the stories. And those stories were inside of me. And I went into a boarding school system and uh, they killed those stories in that system. I came out of there totally ashamed of who I am, what I am. In the late 60s, I went back to the culture on my own. I let my hair grow. I started speaking my language. And in one of those times, I, I fasted. I did the vision list for five years. And one of those years, I, uh, uh, it was a beautiful night. Stars were out and it was calm. It's just beautiful. And it was around midnight and I got up and I prayed. And I sat down and uh, sat there for a while and then all of a sudden I had this, like a flashbacks of Sand Creek wounded me. And every policy, every law that was imposed on us by the government and the churches hit me one at a time. One at a time. And how it affected my life. And as I sat there, I got angrier and angrier until it turned to hatred. And I looked at the whole situation, the whole picture, and there was nothing I could do. It's too much. The only thing I could do to me was when I come off that hill, I'm going to grab a gun and I'm going to start shooting. And go that way, maybe then my grandfathers will honor me if I go that way. I got up and I came around and I faced the east direction. And it was beautiful. I mean, uh, uh, it was dawn, light, enough light to see the rolling hills out there. And right above that blue light, in that darkness was the sliver of the moon and the morning star. And I wanted to live. I want to live. I want to be happy. I feel I deserve that. But the only way that I was going to do that was if I forgive. And I cried that morning because I had to forgive. Since then, every day, I work on that commitment. Now, I don't know how many people felt that, but every one of us, if you're a Lakota, you have to deal with that at some point in your life. And you have to address that. You have to make a decision. If you don't, you're going to die on the road someplace. Either from being too drunk or you might take a gun to your head if you don't handle those situations. So it just, it did, this isn't history. I mean, it's still with us. What has happened in the past will never leave us. Next 100, 200 years, it'll be with us. And we have to deal with that every day.